So uh, I work as a XR developer in a research facility in India. I'm also the co-founder of an XR-based startup, SigDF Solutions. And under the XR OS fellowship with XRXS and Equal Entry, I worked on Meta's VRC Quest 8. So that specifically focuses on multiple locomotion styles in VR application. So XR, that is extended reality, has great potential and it can play a significant role in the accessibility space. By leveraging the power of augmented reality, virtual reality and mixed reality, we can create an exclusive and enhanced environment that can improve the quality of people with disability. So for this VRC, we are focusing on virtual reality and how it can play a crucial role with its immersive and interactive nature and how it can open new possibilities for accessibility, empowerment and improve quality of life for individuals with diverse abilities. So virtual reality has great potential in creating accessible solutions. By leveraging this technology, developers and designers can address mobility challenges. We can empower the users and we can offer inclusive experiences. So locomotion, that was my talk quickly. Basically, it refers to the base in which users can move around in a virtual environment. So the popular uh, use cases of locomotion are teleportation, smooth locomotion, and room scale movement. So let's discuss what is teleportation. Suppose these are point A and point B and you want to move between them. So using teleportation, we can directly move to point A to point B. If this is a point and teleport method, and it can be easily implemented. Next is smooth locomotion. In this, if we are moving from point A to point B, so we are moving smoothly and we are moving continuously like this. So this is another method of locomotion. The last is room scale method. In the last method, in this we have to physically move Suppose we are moving from point A to point B. So we are physically moving in the real space, in our physical world, and that is working in the virtual environment. In teleportation and smooth locomotion, we are not moving in the real world. We are only moving in the virtual world. So these are the three basic uh, locomotion techniques used in virtual reality. So by harnessing the power of this technology, we can uh, create an inclusive space where individuals with mobility challenges can overcome barriers and they can participate fully in various aspects of life. So there are multiple advantages of VR locomotion. So we'll discuss few of them. First is remote work and collaboration. So VR collaboration tools, they can help in people with disabilities to work remotely and participate in virtual meetings, conferences around the world without the need of traveling to that space. So this reduces the need for physical travel and provide equal access to professional opportunities. So we are basically creating an equal ground for everyone with the help of virtual reality. Next is physical rehabilitation. So often in physical rehabilitation, we have to do mundane exercises daily and we have a, a lack of motivation. With the help of VR based gaming, gaming techniques, physical therapy exercises, we can create a motivational environment and it, that can engage in re rehabilitation activities in a fun and immersive manner. So they can be customized exercises that can cater to individual needs and abilities. Next is interactive accessibility training. So VR cannot only be useful for people with disabilities. It can also be useful for businesses and employees and service providers to better understand the need of people with mobility disability. So they can understand what are their requirements and how it is to, you know, uh, work with them, how they can create a better inclusive spaces for them. So with the re uh, virtual reality, we can create an interactive accessibility training module for them also. Another point is accessibility tourism and virtual craft. So our world contains various uh, monuments, beautiful scenarios. So why should people with mobility disabilities restrict them from traveling to that places? Using virtual reality, they can visit the spaces and they can, you know, have, they can foster a sense of exploration and cultural enrichment right at their place, right at their comfort of drawing, or drawing room or living room. With the help of virtual reality, they can visit any monument, any place in the world. 
and maybe they can visit in outer space on the moon and travel the solar system so virtual reality can have endless possibilities next is obviously gaming and entertainment so as have you also mentioned in gaming virtual reality can be re revolution and with the help of virtual reality locomotion so player can move anywhere you know they can fly they can uh, teleport multiple locomotion techniques can be implemented for them and they don't have any barriers like they have in real world so they can create a inclusive accessible virtual world where they can play with their friends and they can you know have achievements participation and they can create a immersive gaming experience all this can be happen with the virtual reality next is they can virtually attend events and gatherings so if they have any social event concerts family gathering so using virtual reality uh, they can move around the event they can experience that and they can have a 360 immersive view so it will be like completely they are experiencing that only they are living there only and living in the moment at the exact point and they can you know be uh, there with their family and friends and the last is quite important emergency preparedness so using virtual reality we can prepare uh, different evacuation routes we can help them train with locomotion techniques and they can understand the accessible uh, emergency routes so this can be quite useful uh, during a disaster and they can prepare themselves also and they can help uh, experts also like how to uh, help them during the disaster so these are some of the advantages of vr locomotion so for this vrc as i said uh, my vrc was meta quest vrc 8 so it focused on multiple locomotion style and this improvement is not limited to teleportation free locomotion that is direct locomotion and snap tunnel so for this we created a project uh, open source project that is available on github and it can be shared after the session and uh, we will always always uh, also posting the link for our implementation of vrc8 on the equal entry website in short time and these are some of the minimum requirements that you will be needing to implement the project so let's have a qu uh, quick demo how it works so in this uh, project we will be focusing on uh, locomotion snap turning and teleportation so these are the three locomotion style that we have implemented in this project so we'll start with snap turning first so snap turning basically uh, turning around left or right without rotating your head in real space so using just the flick of a button of your controller you can move left and right next is direct motion so by pointing the direction and using your thumb stick you can directly move from point a to point b in this you can notice you are moving continuously in the direction you are facing and the last one is teleportation so in this you can just point to a specific uh, teleport anchor and you can directly teleport to that point so in this example we are uh, te po pointing towards the teleportation anchor as you can see in the video and we are getting teleported to that point so this is how we can implement three locomotion styles in the virtual reality and because this is an open source project it can be implemented in any game and you can have uh, you can download it via our github project so it's quite easy to implement also and uh, you can uh, see our article also after that and we have all the steps listed there how to implement that so what will be the future scope of this project so we have implemented the basic uh, meta quest vrc8 criteria but how we can improve so i would like to motivate uh, everyone uh, seeing this video how you can extend this locomotion technique 
and uh, personally i will also be working on this uh, future scope techniques so first is voice command locomotion so imagine right now you are using a controller but or, what if you don't want to or you can't use the controller or you can't hold the controller so using voice command you can create a completely controller free experience so suppose you are in a game and you want to move so you can just use your voice command like you can say move 50 meters ahead turn right turn left so you don't you don't have to hold the controllers you can just directly use your voice as your command and it can you know move in the game the next is gaze based locomotion so in this uh, you can you know uh, uh, see at a specific point in a game for x amount of time and you will be teleported or directly uh, moved to that point suppose i have to move uh, i have to move uh, 180 degree and I'll just say turn, turn, and after that, I'll just have to move 50 meters ahead. So, or a specific point or a safe point. I'll just uh, look at that, and there will be a loading uh, buzzer. And after that is completed for, say, five seconds of time, I'll be directly teleported to that point. So, in this, you don't have to even speak, also. You just have to look at that point, and you'll be teleported or moved to that point. This is also interesting locomotion style. Now it's this stunning unit for motion sickness. So what we notice is while we are teleporting from point A to point B, in virtual reality we are moving, but in real world we are not moving. So this causes an effect of nausea, motion sickness. So how we can reduce that? It provides a turning, turning effect. Like before teleporting, you will just select the point, and after teleporting, so the, the in-between time, there will be a tunnel produced. That will be blocking all the external view so you don't have motion sickness so you can also implement this in your uh, locomotion style and it can help to reduce the motion sickness part so this is also uh, based on the observation of different different users and uh, uh, we should all you know work towards this and we can implement these techniques and make a accessible gaming experience or virtual reality experience if we follow all the techniques listed here uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, if you have any feedback or suggestions, uh, this is my email ID. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. And yes, thank you. This is probably the teleportation locomotion topic is, you know, one of the ones that feels very um, unique to VR compared to the contrast and two captions, which we needed to do in other platforms with the teleportation and locomotion, it brings up a lot of other types of disabilities, like vestibular disorders. And, um, you know, unfortunately for a lot of people that I've spoken to that use VR, um, they get motion sickness or they, they have problems with this implementation. So I do think it's a good example of the idea that a lot of times implementing something that will help people with disabilities benefits every user and the idea of like not making people have to move a certain way in VR is very similar to not forcing people to, you know, have to do another type of action. So let's take first question, or this is a comment actually, but I'd like you to respond. This um, would love to see this expanded for wheelchair users who could explore the metaverse either without a wheelchair or using a wheelchair with smooth locomotion, which would require flat surfaces or ramps. It's an idea. But what do you think of that? Sure. Uh, so the goal of virtual reality can be to create a completely virtual environment in which the user can be anyone or Contrast to that, it can be an equal realistic environment that the user can identify with. If the your user wants to be on wheelchair in that experience, we can create a simulator for that so that the real world and virtual world matches the identity of the user. So we can, you know, have a simulator. So I worked on a driving simulator in which we have the complete uh, accelerator, brake, and steering wheel. Similarly, we can create a, a virtual a wheel simulate, a wheelchair simulator for virtual reality. So this is quite beneficial of 
of virtual reality that you can be anyone or anything so as i mentioned you can be uh, like completely different from your real world persona or you can be exactly the same persona like you can have create your own room in virtual reality so now there there are technologies also that you can just you know scan your phone and you can scan your room and it will create a 3d model or 3d environment of your room so definitely if you want to have a real realistic experience in vr so you can create a simulator for that and uh, you can experience uh, the same world that you are experiencing with the help of that simulator yeah i think i yeah i just love that idea that in vr there's really no limit so what if you were like yeah i'm going to re-render the environment to have a ramp or not have a ramp yeah the fact that you can do all of that in vr it's really cool um here's another comment and also something for you to comment on uh so this is around i probably like a social vr example but would love to see a way of being able to locate a specific user within a crowded vr environment like think about like a shared social environment what do you think about finding a user inside of a social vr definitely uh i think there are already some of the applications that are already working on social vr but uh, if you want to create a exclusive like inclusive uh, social vr we can do that also where people can share their experiences have support groups so we can have definitely have that application also and uh, it can you know connect up uh, users different different users with various disabilities uh, from around the world in a common space so i think uh, during our f- uh, fellowship experience with uh, xdr access and equal entry we collaborated in the virtual space and it was like quite interesting like we were sitting in different countries but still uh, in the virtual reality we, we were like sitting in a common conference room and we were presenting and having fun so virtual reality can bring any type of group in a single room and it's uh, quite i think everyone should experience uh, that uh, meeting or a conference and they'll just you know see how close can we despite a sitting in different parts of the world so obviously we can have different different social groups or applications for different type of users in virtual reality all right and then last question before we wrap up today um could voice control be potentially be used to locate specific objects or users and i'll just add on to that question just to be you mentioned that feature planning was voice control did you have any ideas of like how you thought the voice control should work so sure, sure. So a uh, voice control uh, is not just a single uh, use case it can have it has basically diverse use cases so what basically what you are doing with controller should be uh, you should be able to do it with your voice so to talk on the first question uh, talk about on the first question like we can uh, we use distance grabbing so what we do in distance grabbing is we uh, point towards a specific object in the game and we can you know Uh, float it towards our hand, or we can grab it without actually going towards that object. So, using voice control, we can do that. We can uh, say if uh, we can have a tag, we can have different tags to different objects in the game. And suppose uh, there is a water a water gun. So, I'll say grab water gun. So, my virtual hand in the game will automatically grab the water gun or switch to uh, ballistic missile, switch to rocket launcher. So. automatically we can you know uh, switch to different objects in the game using voice command so that can be a feature of voice command and so basically voice command can be anything any uh, command or anything you can want you if you are uh, accompanying it with the controller you must be able to do it with voice command so exactly uh, if i am a solo developer i won't be able to cover all the use cases but what i can do is we can uh, create a open source project like in locomotion we have created we can prepare an article for voice command so that if you want to create your custom voice command or implement different different feature you can do that by yourself depending on your requirement 